Hello guys, my name is Kenyo. video for the Liberated Lotus Collective and um, I love that that name Liberated Lotus Collective it's so it's so cool it's so deep um, but before I get into that I want to give you a little bit of background um, about myself I'm Kenyo I'm a poet and I'm an entrepreneur uh, I've been writing poems since my earliest poetry memory is in fifth grade um, I went to fifth grade in um, California North California in a little town um, called Mill Valley. And I went to Edna McGuire Elementary School. And in fifth grade, we had this, um, this little poetry segment where we all got to write our poems and perform them in front of the class. And I was already a writer. I remember writing as far back as second grade. And I wrote this poem about race relations. And I read it and my teacher cried. And so that is my reference to perform poems. That's my earliest memories. And since then, and since before then, you know, writing, I can't explain why, but it's always been... Um, a part of who I am. The only thing that's been a part of me probably longer than writing is talking. I love to talk um, and that led me into entrepreneurship. I started my podcast and live show called, um, it was originally called Kenyo Poetry Live because I'm a poet and then people said it's not all about poetry so we changed it to Kenyo Live and now it's called Go Live with Kenyo and you can subscribe to that on iTunes and that I, I turned into a business called Project Forward, and I leveraged my, my personal ability to network and talk, because I love to talk, and I love people, and people like me, because I'm empathetic, and if I do say so myself, I'm a little hilarious. Um, so I leveraged that into a company called Project Forward, and that company I'm building out to be a networking machine, really leveraging people's ability to be authentic and... Um, to be authentic and explain their passions. And so it's so much fun. I love I love building Project Forward almost as much as I love um, waking up and writing um, poetry without leaving my bed. I don't think there's anything better than being a poet. One thing that um, any poet will tell you, if you've seen any documentaries, is even going back to the 16th century, the poet lifestyle is a relaxing lifestyle. And I bring relaxation into everything I do because it's a major fundamental key. If you're not rested, you're not operating from your identity. You're operating from your insecurity every single time. If you're not well rested, you are always operating from insecurity instead of identity. And it's a shame because the things that are inside of you that make you up won't get released to the world. And I think about, uh, I'm going to jump in a little bit now and talk about how that relates to a collective and um, why I'm so inspired uh, by Liberated Lotus Collective, um, not just because I'm excited for the partnerships that I'm going to be able to do um, with Kelly and Liberated Lotus Collective. Shout out to Kelly, what's up? Um, and I think it's going to be great doing so much great stuff in Austin. And I've been leveraging myself as a speaker um, and as a, a and as a host, a media host in Austin already. I'm working with AFTV5 in Austin. We've started a show called Influence Hour, which is very much like my Go Live with Kenya Hour, except it's not just for artists and entrepreneurs. It's about uh, making social change. And so I'm doing a lot in Austin. And so I'm excited for Liberated Lotus Collective on that end. And what they're going to accomplish by being able to do much of the same thing, um, leverage that ability to network, to be able to create something um, fantastic. Um, so I'm excited for that. But I'm also excited because I love to see um, the growth uh, of people. And I love what a collective needs. And um, on Project Forward, I have this thing called Time Machine. And it's all based around, I'm a huge time travel lover. I love uh, the show Doctor Who. I don't know if anyone watches Doctor Who. I love it. Um, I'm so interested in time travel. Anything about time travel, I'm into it. So I have this project called Time Machine. And right now, it's specifically a time machine, but for entrepreneurs. It's how do you skip some of those early stages? You can't skip anything in life, by the way. But how is it that you can um, skip some of those early stages in life, those years, those early parts of entrepreneurship? And you know what? I don't have you skip the stages. I have you realize the years that you've already been traveling. And that's too, true time travel. And in that, I have a, um, in that thing called Time Machine that I built for entrepreneurs, I have a special um, 
infographic, and I call it the uh, the atmosphere the atmosphere of collective accountability. Um, and what I really talk about that, and this is why this is so important um, to everyone who's there and to Liberated Lotus, Lotus Collective, as it takes this this step and it gets ready to go to the next level. This, this is why this is so important for you guys. Um, and this is this is cool. This is what I'm talking about. Super hardcore because some people, entrepreneurs, will talk a lot about um, networking, um, social media, and things like that. And social media is great, but there's a more fundamental issue um, to a lot of what's going on um, in entrepreneurs and not leveling you up, okay? Especially if you're starting um, from scratch as an entrepreneurship, then everything for you is going to be based on your ability to barter. And barter is a system of, is a pre-currency system that allows you to exchange with people and it's based on relationships. And the reason, uh, and I'm still going to get to the infographic, so I hope you're following me. The reason um, currency is great is because it takes out some of the things. If you can pay someone to do something, like an employee, guess what? You don't have to have a good relationship. It doesn't matter if you're in a bad mood, you can shout at them. As long as you're paying them enough, it's okay. But guess what? When you don't have the cash, and even if you have the cash, if you want to use your money um, efficiently, then it's going to 100% be based on your ability to... Um, um, work with other people, and so in this system of accountability that I, that that I was I've been researching everything that I make is always based off of research because uh, I want to be able to say things to you that I understand and I know. So one, I only talk about super basic stuff. Two, it's all stuff that I've experienced personally. And when it comes to accountability and working in the collective, the first six levels, only the last level. Do I even consider um, the, the collective? There's seven levels to it. And the seventh level, I consider that, and I know you guys are going to love that out there, Liberated Lotus Collective. But you're going to love the energy that I'm bringing. The seventh level, that's where you can, you can build with people to create culture. But before you can even think about teaming up with people to create culture, there are six levels that you have to deal with. The first most fundamental, I'm going to bring it back, it's rest. If you aren't well rested, if you haven't um, taken the, and this, this, it starts with sleep. It starts with sleep. If you're not well rested, if you're engaged in too much work or you feel scattered or you feel weird, you're hungry, I don't care what it is. If you're not well rested, you're not even ready to get up for work. Your work is diminished. Your work is less efficient. You might have to get work. Uh, you might have to get up to work. And um, so that's just going to be you finding out how you can plan for rest. Work is fulfilled when you plan for rest. If you take nothing else out of this thing at all, then I want you to remember that 100%. Your work will only achieve fulfillment when you put it in a structure that has plan for rest. Okay? I, I, I don't even really want to go any further. I almost just want to stop there. I want to talk about the other levels, which I'm not going to really remember because I don't have them in front of me. But if you can, if you can knock down your ability to understand rest and poets like i said we love rest okay this is a whole profession built around <laughs> resting but why is that i'm a poet first for everything uh, before anything so i think if i talk about poetry i'll probably say something that you understand even more the reason um poets understand rest so much and to me i'm not hating on anyone but poetry is one of the highest art forms okay it just is why because it's so mental and why does it require rest? There's so many funny movies where they'll talk about a poet and be like, what are you doing? Why are you lying down all day? Because when you um, are super acquainted with rest, when your body doesn't have any insecurities, the places that your mind is able to go, you grasp true identity. And in the identity of your unique self are unlocks to the universe. So I don't want to go too much on that, and uh, I'm not trying to turn you guys into poets, um, but I know that every single person is a poem. Your life is a poem. The word um, poem, actually, I, I did some research. I'm not going to try to quote it exactly, but it basically just means to create. That's all it means. So poetry is just the, fu it's the most fundamental form of creation. And um, work has been, uh, it's got the connotation that we have for work right now is actually just aspects of work. You take aspects of work. What work actually is, is a creation. That's why you call it a work of art. 
but but what we call work so often, like, oh, I have work to do, usually you're just talking about one or two elements of creation, only the small slice of the pie that you're able to access because the other parts are based up um, of your insecurity because you haven't rested a hundred million percent. I'm so glad that I keyed in on this because I've never done this um, this specific talk ever before, but I can tell that for some reason, uh, you know, I was able to do it. And I just know that it's mostly because the vibes out there and the Liberated Lotus Collective are so much my people. You guys are a hundred percent my people. You just happen to be in the wrong city. I'm joking. Um, Austin is great. So I'm super excited about that. So definitely take that away before anything. Are you rested so many of your partnerships so many of your other things they're going to be they're going to be messed up because you're bringing half of yourself and before you can even get to the point <laughs> and there's five other steps before you can even get to the point where you might be able to produce some real work with these people you're asking them to fulfill the lack of rest that you got okay when you're imbalanced Maybe the first thing that you do every meeting is you say, hey, can we can we go? And this is just this is just an example. Hey, can we go get like a bite to eat or something like that? Why didn't you eat? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm shouting at you guys. Why didn't you eat? I'm probably remembering someone before you got to the thing. And that's the same thing. Why didn't you sleep before you got there? So that you could be there a hundred percent. You know, it's so important. And that's gonna cause so much unnecessary frustration and you're going to wonder why every partnership you get in never works out it's because you were never there five percent of you was there okay it was like people turned on the tv station and it was 30 percent static guess what eventually they're going to leave okay eventually they're going to leave unless they really like what's going on and i'm not gonna <laughs> i'm not gonna go into the only times people were really um <laughs> brave static to be able to watch something so let's keep going um rest is the most i don't know if some of you guys caught where i was going with that but it's done rest is the most fundamental level um so take that away though rest is the most fundamental level it's the basic level bottom level of um your ability to be a, a partner to anyone actually this is before that your bottom level before you can even achieve yourself yourself you got to be rested you're not going to be there um I keep going back to it because it's just so key. I keep thinking about the other steps, but I'm like, that's not going to matter if you're not rested. And so often I think that's the, the biggest thing, that people are not taking the time to get adequate rest so that they can show up. You know, like, it's, it's super unfortunate. If you can lock down your rest strategy, and I have some strategies for this for entrepreneurs um, that I go into, but you don't need them. I don't use strategies when I'm building when I'm building my life. It's super simple. I'll tell you the one strategy that I do use. Um, I take one day out of the week um, where I don't do anything that I consider work or anything that I accept payment for. Obviously, every now and then things come up. You know, I'm not going to neglect a friend or or neglect, you know, to do something that would be, um, you know, that I could be really helping someone or something like that or really helping myself. But I take one day um, where I don't do anything I don't, I don't do anything a week and that's my rest schedule. And, you know, I have friends where, you know, that's not them. They like to be, uh, they like to schedule things all seven days of the week. And so, you know, maybe they'll just make sure that they're, um, you know, they have like a, like a two hours of meditation a day or something like that. But honestly, I think, I, I think you should do both. Um, and I think you'll end up finding out that it's the same amount of time. If you can find one day a week where you're chill um, and you're not doing anything, and most of you are doing that anyway, most of it's two days a week, but even in your rest, you're still being anxious, you're still doing busybody things, take the whole time um, to really rest, and figure out what that means for you in different ways, because it's not just sleep, you know, rest is multifaceted. Okay, so I'm going to go to some of the other levels, because I want you guys to experience this, you are collective, this is for Liberated Lotus Collective, and so I want to kind of talk about how to get to that final step, um, when you can uh, become a collective and then the true mission of a collective, what is it? Always raise your hands. Okay, never mind. I can't see your hands. The true mission of a collective always is to create culture. So at the very end, if you've achieved all levels of um, rest and you're able to start working, the second level after work I call planning. So if you're able to start working, then you can, you can start planning. Okay, you can start planning, and, and this is if you're working with people. Um, so, work is you, 
But now you, you guys can work together, definitely. Can you plan together? That's a whole nother level. And if you're finding that you're not able to plan with people, it might be that you're, you're not maybe listening enough, okay? And listening is another form of rest when it comes to communication. It's tough to listen to people because... <laughs> it's crazy. Like, these things are so basic, and that's why I feel comfortable talking about them, but people miss them. Why is it so hard to actually listen to people? And if you're a human, and you've achieved rest, and you're at your identity level where you're showing up, what does listening mean? It doesn't mean just hearing the words and crafting uh, a reply. No, it means figuring out where this person is coming from. You should be imagining how this person woke up in the morning, how they felt, what might have happened, and I'm serious about this, what might have happened in their childhood. When I'm talking to someone, I understand immediately where they're coming from. That's what listening should be able to tell you. Because if you can't find out where someone else is coming from, there's no way you're going to be able to plan with them because you're going to start saying some crazy stuff that's going to it's going to get them, you're going to get them in their insecurity mode. Even if they are well rested, you're going to, you're not going to be, you're not going to be synced up with them. You're, gonna, you're creating more static. You need to be able to listen to people empathetically and truly understand where they're coming from. It, it, can, it can be a task. Trust me, I understand, but it's super duper vital. So after plan, um, you need to be able to strategize. Okay. Um, strategy is that next level. Can you guys craft a strategy together? Hey, we're trying to build something, okay? Ab above just planning to be here and, and do this, can you craft a strategy together? And sometimes if you're finding that you're not able to craft the strategy, I'm glad that I'm remembering these steps, um, but it's because they're so, um, so native to me. Um, uh, I, I think of, and I explained this to someone the other day, um, plans are like straight lines, and then the strategy is the web. Okay, so it's a bunch of different lines. And so your strategy makes up, uh, think about it as what can you do with the web? You can catch things, okay? So you have dreams, you have goals, you have things that you want to do. By laying all these plans, you can lay them in such a way that you can get full coverage in a certain area, and then you can you can catch something really cool. And um, But in order to get to strategy, if you're finding that it's hard to strategize with a person, it might be that you're impatient, you know? Just because you've joined the collective, just because you guys are now here and you're the Liberated Lotus Collective, doesn't mean that tomorrow that you guys are going to lock into a place where both of your brands can collide. And, and strategy is a really thing is a really big thing when two brands are trying to work together. When two brands are trying to work together, you guys need a strategy. How does my brand fit into your brand? Because a brand is already not just a person at this point. It's a it's a different kind of entity. And so um, when if you're finding that it's hard, you need patience. This is another kind of rest. I'm just telling you another kind of rest. You need to be patient. You need to be patient. It might be eight months. It might be a year. It might be two years before this person who you're able to patiently spend time with, you might be able to plan with them and do some work with them. It might be two years before a strategy materializes. You might feel like, hey, I'm not, you know, I really, really want us to work together. I almost want us to just combine businesses. No, you don't. You don't want to combine businesses with this person. Be patient. Be patient. Oh, man, I'm having so much fun telling you guys about these different steps. Let me see if I can remember the the fourth step. Um... So after, after strategy, um, I believe it's going to be investment. Oh, you know what? There's five. There's five. Levels. I said there were seven earlier, but there's five levels. So um, I might be wrong on that one, actually. What is the next one? I just went over to project4.tv, and I went to, you can click rest. It's at the top, or there's a picture at the bottom. Click rest, and then I clicked on time machine because I have uh, all my infographics there. And you know what, like these infographics, I'm not, I'm not claiming to be a psychologist or anything like that, um, but they're super basic and they're things that I found that work out. And you know, it, it's like I said, the main thing that I want you to figure out, if you think about rest, you'll learn, you'll learn your own words for all these different things, patience, listening. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna close up um, really quick here. I did find what I was looking for. Um, the next step is partnership. So even before you, you're ready to create culture, um, that, that fourth step is going to be your ability to create partnership. And, and if you're not able to do that, you got to check your confidence. Too often people are walking into the room without confidence in themselves. And without confidence, um, you can't invest in anything because you're not going to be there. 
it's like if you're not confident that um, the next step you take is going to be a solid piece of land and it's not going to wobble or something like that, then, um, you know, you're not, you're not going to be able to take the step. Why would you? And it, at that point, it has to manifest and it has to be that real. So make sure that you, um, even after being patient, even after listening, that's all good and dandy. And you guys have been able to work together, plan together and strategize. You're not ready to be someone's partner if you're lacking confidence. If you don't have that, that armor 100%, do not get into a partnership. It won't be because the partnership's bad. It'll, because, it'll be because you didn't show up. And you didn't, you weren't able to show up because you weren't confident. I don't care if you're rested. You still have to be confident. If you're rested, though, you will be confident. They're one and the same. So, um, and then that next step is, um, is, um, culture. You guys can start creating culture together. Super cool. So if you want to see these, this full list, definitely, um, go check it out. But, um, I, I already gave you all the gems. So I don't know what you would be going back to see it for, except for maybe to share it with a friend or something like that. Or if you want to give your own talk, that'd be cool. Then you can use that as a reference. Save some time. Whenever someone makes something, like, books are great because they, they help us to save time. And Liberated Lotus Collective is definitely going to help you save time on your journey. So I can tell you 100% you're in the right place right now. And I would be there too, except for I'm giving another workshop in my hometown of San Antonio. And I can go in on a whole nother level on why it's super important for you to prioritize your location. So many people want to get up, get on, and then move to Los Angeles or move to San Francisco or move to Portland. You're making a huge mistake. The investment of your time in your city and showing the people around you that you believe not just in them, but you believe in that geographic location, that city, and you make it a priority, and you make those those 50 people around you a priority, you make the seven people closest to you um, a priority. If you can do that, you will you will find that your partnerships take on a whole nother level. I would love to go in on this, um, but this is a whole nother talk. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I enjoyed I enjoyed it so much. Um, I'm definitely going to share this video online after you guys get to see it. I think I think um, you guys are about to unlock crazy levels together with Liberated Lotus Collective, but only if you're able to rest. Um, I've seen time and time again people who fail um, to to do this. They they fall away. And then they end up with regrets years later because they're like, oh, I wish I could have made it work. I have regrets of certain partnerships that didn't work out. And um, you don't need regrets either, but it, a way to avoid them right now is just to be super present. And these are some of the skills I've learned to avoid regrets in this area of life. Once again, I'm Kenyo. Thank you so much. Um, it was great talking to you guys. I, I hope I get to come out to the next Liberated Lotus Collective event. And um, I hope that um, I get to hear more from you guys. I think I'm going to be giving away some, some free stuff to some of you guys, some Project Forward one-year memberships. Um, it's been a blast. Keep doing what you're doing. Shout out to Kelly. Shout out to Gavin from the 1%. I can't believe I'm missing Gavin's talk. I can't believe I missed Gavin's talk. I don't even want to share this video guy with you guys anymore. It's fine. Enjoy the video. Catch you later. This is Kenya.